Have you ever wanted to populate a lookup in Power Automate, but you didn't want to use this giant GUID? Maybe you have another column you want to use. So in this case, instead of a giant GUID, you get something clean like this. Let's show you how to do that. Inside of Dataverse, I have a series of courses in a courses table, activities like hiking or horseback riding, and each one has a lookup to an instructor. And I have a Power Automate flow here, so it's going to create a new course record here and also set the instructor. But here's the kicker. I'm not going to set the instructor by using this GUID up here at the top to do something like this. Because this totally works, but sometimes I don't have access to the GUID or maybe it's coming from some other system. Instead, we could set it on a different field on the instructor's form. In this case, what I need to do is hop over into my solution and whichever column I want to be matching on, in my case, it's SQL ID. I come over here to keys and I create a new key. So I'm done with that. The important part here is I'm not going to use this schema name. This confused me the first time. If I hop back and go to the column that I want to match on, in this case, SQL ID, here it is. I'm going to use the logical name of the column. And I also remember that the data type is a single line of text. So in here, when I do equals, I can't just put the number two. Instead, I need to wrap it inside of some quotes here. But if you used a whole number, make sure to get rid of the quotes. And then let's name this my new course. Click save. And if we refresh our table, there's my new course nicely mapped to this instructor using her SQL ID.